service. Fort Sill's oldest basic trainee will graduate tomorrow after nine and a half weeks of grueling training. It's a second chance for Specialist John Swanson to complete his service and eventually retire after having served 10 years in the U.S. Navy. 7 News anchor Caitlin Williams brings us Swanson's story and his thoughts on how the military has changed since he first served. I'm 49 years old. I'm in the United States Army. What else is there, you know? Specialist John Swanson's military career began in 1987 when he enlisted in the Navy at just 18 with nowhere to go as a ward of the state of Minnesota. He said it forever changed his life. I can say that, that without the military, I probably would have been a statistic uh, dead in prison or on drugs. Swanson was a Naval Hospital corpsman serving during Desert Storm with the Marine Corps Infantry Unit. In 1997, he was released from active duty. So after every conflict, they, they usually uh, draw down the military, budgetary constraints. And so I was part of the drawdown after Desert Storm in that era. Um, so I didn't have a choice. And so I just had to live life. I was pissed off for a long time. Swanson took that anger and turned it into fire, signing up for the National Guard to finish what he started and eventually retire. He chose the Army and came to Fort Sill surrounded by others half his age. Day zero sucked really bad because I wasn't expecting what I got. I was expecting maybe a little more um, ease due to my um, age and prior service. Um, it, no, it didn't happen. Swanson and the 200 other trainees were the first on Fort Sill to complete a brand new point of instruction implemented on October 1st by the Chief of Staff of the Army. Dubbed the Forge, it includes tactical marches with rucksacks totaling 45 miles in four days. Swanson said training has changed dramatically since his naval service. Instructors had a little more leeway physically to get you to understand what they were trying to get at. Uh, today that's not, not at all. You can't do that. And despite their age differences, I couldn't have done this without you guys. Swanson said he learned from his fellow trainees and offered some wisdom in return. I learned to appreciate the small moments of, of just downtime with them. A good piece of advice um, to not stop and to fulfill your dreams. Um, I mean, it's inspired me to go back and finish my um, teaching degree, which I pursued. So. It made me change my aspect on how I think of my goals that I may have thought I had lost but are still possible today. Swanson reminds anyone out there with dreams that seem beyond reach, if you want it bad enough, you'll get it, regardless of your age. You'll find a way to do what it is you want to do. Um, pain is, pain lets you know you're alive and age is just a number. After graduating from basic training, Swanson will go back to Minnesota to work at the Minneapolis VA hospital where his patients are waiting his return. I did it. I did it. Uh, I'll see you guys at Christmas. Reporting on Fort Sill, Caitlin Williams, 7.